What is going on, YouTube people? Neil Cards and Comics here. Well, we speculated yesterday about where this Topps Dynasty Black Otani thing is going to go. And I was wrong. <laughs> you know, I speculated maybe update, maybe Topps Chrome update, maybe some other product. And the some other product was correct, but it is its own unique product. Sunday afternoon, Topps announced a Otani 50-50 product. 100 card base set, one card for every homer, one card for every steal. Every card in the product is Otani, and there is going to be three of these Dynasty, Topps Dynasty Black Game Worn Relic cards. Uh, we already know what one is. I assume the other two are going to be one of ones as well. We'll have to see what those patches look like. And this product comes out later today, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, Monday, the 30th at noon Eastern. 300, or I'm sorry, $240 a box, 10 packs per box, $25 per card. Uh, and they are going to have numbered versions of this. It says all parallels, both base and autos will be Topps Chrome. So they'll obviously be Otani autos in this product as well. Looks like they have little dates on it for whatever the image is. So what do we think? An Otani specific product. I actually don't have a problem with this. Um, I know like people were complaining on social about them printing to the moon and you know, where's judges. Listen, Tops is a card manufacturer. I know that's tough for some people to wrap their minds around. Their job is to produce cards that people want to buy. I have a pretty good feeling that this thing is probably going to sell out fairly quickly. Uh, I'll be curious to see if they do EQL for this, the random lottery, or if they just put this up as a free-for-all product. Uh, if they put it up as a free-for-all product, I would expect problems with Topps' website. And I have no idea if the product is going to be worth 240 bucks a box or not. If you're a fan of Otani, great. Great. If you're a Dodger fan, great. Perfect. If you're an evil flipper, if you're a gambler, have at it. If you don't care about any of those things, it's okay. You don't have to buy it. Just sit this one out or wait and buy singles. I actually don't think this is that bad. If they made this of, if you're mad about this, are you mad because it's Otani? Or are you mad because they didn't make it of your favorite player? Or you don't think Otani is deserving? Or you just don't like the idea of tops printing cards? You know, we'll, you know, we'll have to wait and see exactly what this thing all looks like and what it shakes out like and what it rip, rips like and all that stuff. But I honestly don't have a huge problem with this. I I don't. At least at face value. Like I said, maybe something will come out that'll change my mind in regards to how I feel about it. But generally speaking, I don't necessarily hate this. Is it necessarily for me? No. You're never going to get your value back from whipping, ripping wax. So $240 is probably going to be a little high for what this is because most of the base cards and stuff probably aren't going to sell very well out of here. If you hit something low numbered, hit an auto obviously, you know, you're taking it to the bank. We don't know what the odds on any of that stuff are yet. So to be determined from a buy the product to flip it standpoint, my guess is, is that these will sell out and that they will retail or secondary market price for higher than $240. I don't know what the print run is going to be on this set, but I can't imagine it's going to be massive. Uh, like I said, I'll, you know, we'll have to wait and see what the checklist looks like. And if they give us some pack odds, maybe we can math it out. If they give you odds on what it is to hit the 101 Dynasty, you'll be able to figure it out pretty quickly on how many boxes of this product that they actually made. If I was average hobby person that was just a random collector, I probably would give two craps about this product and not even think about it. If I'm um, evil flipper... I am probably curious at 240, would probably buy some 
to attempt to flip on the secondary market. If I am DGen Gambler, sure, yeah, all in at 240 a box, baby. Let's hit that 101 logo, man. We're going to the moon. I'm retiring off this product. Myself personally, as a content creator, yeah, I'm going to try to get one or two. I would rip one on camera for sure. I have ripped way dumber things for way more expensive than this for the content gods, as Carlos likes to say. At $240 a box, just blindly, I would rather rip two boxes of this than one box of Topps Chrome Basketball. I would rather rip two plus boxes of this than Topps Chrome Basketball Sapphire. For sure. Because you know there's going to be... Hitting an Otani auto it is almost just as good as hitting a Wemby auto. Now it's a little different because Wemby's are rookie autos. These won't be. But if you hit a low-numbered Otani parallel auto, you're probably going to do quite well out of this product. I have no delusions that I'm going to hit or that you're going to hit or anyone's going to hit the Topps Chrome... Or the Topps Dynasty, I keep saying Chrome. The Topps Dynasty Black one of ones or anything crazy like that but there's probably going to be some cool stuff in here to chase so overall i i don't have a huge problem with this product they signed otani to that massive exclusive deal these are the sorts of things that you're going to get and the reason why you're getting otani over other players or how come x player or y player hasn't gotten one of these yet is even though otani might not put up he does put up insane numbers by the way but even if you say you want Judge to have one, guess what? Otani's more popular than Judge. It's as simple as that. If they came out with two products, an Otani product and a Judge product, guess which one's going to sell way more? The Otani product. He has an international audience and people love him. He is a marketing machine. So of course they're going to go with an Otani product. He is the face of baseball. Like it or not, he is the face of of baseball. And if you say this is a money grab product, of course it is. They're a card manufacturing company. Like I said before, I would much rather buy this than unlicensed basketball. 100%. Not even close. So, devil will be in the details. Uh, at first blush, with the information that I have at hand, sitting here Sunday evening recording this video, drowning my sorrows in Potentially another Browns loss at Las Vegas. Still some time left in that game. I'm relatively okay with this at face. We'll see what happens tomorrow when we get more information on it. Hopefully they give us more information on it prior to release. That would be pretty annoying if they don't give us full information. I also help hope that they run this as an EQL just to make everyone's life a little bit easier and not completely crash the top's website. And we'll see how readily available these things are. So, curious for your thoughts, as always, down below. We will catch you boys and girls on the next one. Peace.